story. I know, we gotta, we gotta Look. get rid of that. I'm afraid. Behind me you see the weeds that have turned into trees. And we have to get rid of those. Ezra's helping out too. I have this thing here. Let me just show it to you. This guy's probably made for, you know, bush trimming and such. But some of these weeds are serious. So I'm gonna use this. And then the more serious ones on top of that are gonna get clipped. All I can say is come along, wish me luck. And let's get her done. Oh wait. Oh wait, she's still not on. Hold on. It's been a year since I've I've done this one. Oh no, she doesn't want to work. Alright, is the machine now going to work? The tool. Please. Uh -huh. Okay, Ezra, you stay back while I do this, okay? Was my plan brilliant? Yes, yes it was. You guys, I am, I've been thinking about this little weed garden. I mean, really since last year and it's not taking much at all. So we'll rake it up, but there will be some weeds left over. I might spray them with some weed killer a little bit, but I'll cover it with the mulch, the, ma the magicalness of that. And just starting fresh is like, it's no other feeling like it. The dopamine rush from that is amazing. Guy right here, he's not looking good. There's nothing to him. He's just ready to be firewood, I think. Who knows? I'm gonna cut him down. Beautiful, that came up nice. Okay, ready? Nope. Alright. I like the idea of it being taller than my head. You know? Mm -hmm. Wow, the tree is a lot bigger when you look from here. Yeah, this thing is huge. It looks like it goes on forever. It does. Are you guys seeing this? Look at that. Woo! Trimmed up those guys. I like to be able to walk under. I could trim up some more actually. But I like to be able to walk under it and not hit my head. So they need to be about six feet off the ground or so. Marky's coming to help me get all the branches up here. But look at this, no longer a forest. Now you can see that there is ground here. There's some trimming more to be done and such over there, but another day, another dollar, baby. Marcus took care of all the branches. Thank you, thank you for that. So we've got this still looking very good. I'll trim the bushes eventually. I'm not gonna do that today. But over here, we have this vining that's happened. I'm not necessarily finding that to be a problem because it's kind of causing some coverage, but there were some tall weeds, so I trimmed those out. I did trim some of the vining that's coming into the grass. I'd like to do a little bit more probably. Then I got terrified and I saw these leaves over here and I was like, oh no, are these poison ivy? Because it was an ivy type thing coming from over here and then going into this bush. I don't know. I don't even know what all of this over here is. This looks like a jungle of crazy 
that down there looks dead and it's looked dead for a while but then it has these moments where it doesn't so you're like I, I don't know and is that a berry tree right there oh there are berries on this tree let me show you see those little berries I'm sure the birds appreciate that so this is gonna have to be for another day because I've come to the end of my like getting into weird stuff like there's sticky stuff on my shoe right now I'm pretty sure that's sap awesome I probably could get that big weed yeah I should it's been a while since I've trimmed this bush uh, maybe like a year and a half ago I did that so he needs some more love but not today not today but that weed right there he can easily be just chop 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 I'm impressed so I'm gonna go order some mulch and then go pick it up at the old Lowe's and put it down and enjoy it yay I love it man it's another one of those things the longer it sits on your brain cells the harder it is to get it done and then once you do it boom baby I'm so thankful for the nice day <sighs> yay okay I couldn't help myself I did trim up these bushes there's all the clippings from it so I'm sure there's more that I can do I'm still trying to think about all of this vining over here I don't mind it but maybe you have some ideas should I mind it this is um, a bush here hydrangea bush and it does okay it'll get a couple blooms for it kind of unfortunate the placement of it I don't think I didn't put it there I don't know how easy that would be to move because it would actually go really well like somewhere over there that's what I'd like to do I'd love that to all be hydrangeas I'm trying to remember was there another bush right there back in the day no I don't think so I think it was just these two bushes I can see a stump right there for something that was there before our time I'm not sure yeah I would love to plant some hydrangeas just all in there it does well kind of in the shade but I wonder if it's too shaded tell me what you know because I love them but I don't like that one right there he's uh, he was like an afterthought oh we should put something here and then you realize that eh, wasn't the greatest spot but it is what it is, right? <sighs> Let's go get some mulch. We're at Lowe's and I ordered 20 bags of mulch. 20 bags. My fear is that 20 isn't enough, but I don't think I can fit any more in here. So I may have to come back another time. And it's just going to be one of those transformation type moments, you know? I love a good like makeover story about, you know, how makeovers or physical makeovers, anything like that. I just think it's phenomenal. It's my own little makeover. The weeds have been put in their place and now we're going to cover them up and just make them look beautiful and I'm going to look outside like all the time just to I look outside at the ones that I've already done they've been like that for weeks and I still get excited look how beautiful it's a busy place here today my friends oh who just fit I definitely don't think I could have fit 30 unless I put some where these seats are but okay here we go How many bags do you think it'll take? There's 20 in the pile. George, how many are we gonna do? All right, you keep it to yourself and I'll figure it out. Is it gonna need a million? Probably. It looks like it'll only need 20, but it tricks you every time, every time. Here is the finish. This is 20 bags of mulch covering everything, making it look so gorgeous. My last bag, I started over here and I didn't get to finish it. This one doesn't have the black lining on it. Um, so 
I don't know, it's just the way that it was. But it got me over to there, and then I'll get some more bags. I don't know, it'll probably take me two, four, maybe eight more bags to really get this whole area nice and lovely. But back over here, come on, is that not gorgeous? Does that not just make your heart happy? Now back here we had some wood, and we'll take care of that at another time. Um, so that will get mulched over at another point. But over here, beautiful, beautiful. Got it in between the bushes, all the way up into the vining on the ground. It's just gorgeous. It looks so much better, happy, refreshed. Oh, guys, really, my heart is like exploding with happiness. I was bringing all of those bags from the front, uh, you know, like the, from the back of our car, from the front of the house to the back. And I just kind of had this moment, like, I'm just so grateful that I am able to do this, physically able to do it and able to take care of our stuff, you know? And I just had like this overwhelming, just thankfulness, feelings of happy. So this has been lovely. It just looks good and it's such a nice restart. Don't we all need refreshes in our life? I think so. Those gloves are so fantastic. I have no blisters. I am like the blister queen and I don't have any blisters. So I appreciate that too. So now, now that it's all said and done, I'm able to keep up on the weeds way better. You know how it is when you let something go for a long time, you just keep letting it go. But when you take care of it, you want to take care of it. That's how I've been with the other areas that I've weeded. I, every day I find just a couple weeds whenever I'm outside real quick, I just find the weeds, pick them and off I go. So that helps me to keep up on it. But when it gets to be the jungle and it's as tall as me nearly, then I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. But we did. So Marcus mode, we got the weeding situated. Marky took all the branches up front and took care of that. Ezra did his help with cutting stuff down. We trimmed up the trees. <laughs> happy trim the bushes oh, you guys it's a happy day yeah thanks for hanging out with me hope that you guys are doing really well I'll catch you on another one we're done my heart is happy I'm not even tired yet and that's a little bit scary because what happens when I do hit the tired realm I'm gonna crash no everything's good I think we've got pork chops for dinner tonight <clears throat> kids have their friends over they're playing might get out the water blasters today play with those i'm gonna go choke some more <coughs> on something that got in there a bug i don't know and i'll talk to you guys soon bye